Elon Musk says Tesla will soon be a German car manufacturer. What does this mean? This morning, just moments ago, friends, a friend Elon Musk commented saying German car manufacturers will rebound strongly. They possess great talent, which will not sit idle and added that Tesla will soon be a German car manufacturer. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Here's how it started. Lisa G. Punkt on Twitter wrote the following to which Elon Musk responded. She he said watch german tv news sat one they are reporting on tesla hertz deal and on the one trillion company valuation they concluded model 3 is the most selling car in germany that was previously volkswagen golf's position this is the end of an era for german car manufacturers lisa wrote to this elon musk just minutes ago responded saying german car manufacturers will rebound strongly they possess great talent which will not sit idle also a few moments later he added this also, Tesla will soon be a German car manufacturer. What do you think, friends? In what way do you think te Tesla will become a German car manufacturer? In to me, this doesn't mean Tesla will move its headquarters to Germany. Now, Germany will be its European headquarters, but Germany in uh, G Tesla is an international car manufacturer or at least U.S. car manufacturer. But um, the, Elon Musk probably means that Tesla will be assimilated into Germany as well as it studies, does in China and other gigafactories it will be. So will Germany, Tesla will become a German car manufacturer? In which way? Let me know please in the comments section below. Maybe so, maybe it will become, but they will have to step up uh, way more and the biggest challenge is how to recruit the true talents out there, I mean for German car manufacturers. Keep in mind they have a high average age and big pension obligations to pay and being capable capable of changing totally away from uh, ICE gas cars to electric vehicles will be so hard. The talent is not the problem in Germany. It is the old structures and the failure to understand that they don't have to build just cars, but computers on wheels, says a Twitter user Tesla Audrey. I think German car manufacturers are slowly moving to this direction. Maybe the pace is not enough, but things are going to that direction as I review lots of German cars myself. Another person says, I partially agree with Elon Musk. They possess talent, meaning German car manufacturers. They possess talent, but lack the flexibility and vision to move in large enough bounds to catch up. I would not say they lack flexibility or vision. How, how can I measure someone's vision, uh, thousands of people, the vision of thousands of people? So I wouldn't say that, but we see that German car manufacturers need to speed up the transition to electric vehicle adoption and looks like they're on, on that uh, uh, on that uh, route and uh, to witness to that is recently uh, Herbert Dies from Volkswagen calling Elon Musk to uh, Volkswagen's executive conference. So what I like about Tesla CEO Elon Musk in this case is that he is welcoming the challenge uh, from Germany and not pretending like there is none like others. I still like the looks of BMW and Mercedes a lot. Would be really surprising if they just couldn't develop a compete a electric technology really soon. Plus, the auto industry has had plenty of twists over the decades. Friends, the problem is if the talent is not managed to the advantage of the company, too many OEMs have short-term managers as CEO. They are not fully invested. European manufacturers have the advantage of Europe being the most progressive on electric vehicle adoption as evident by adoption rates with China following and the US kind of lagging a little bit. German engineering is great. They have fewer natural resources and compensated by learning to do more with less true engineering. Let me know, friends, your thoughts on what Elon Musk said. Elon Musk said, in what way do you think Tesla will soon be a German car manufacturer? And what do you think about his comment about German car manufacturers will be rebounding strongly? They possess great talent and which will not sit idle. True, good talent doesn't sit idle. Well, this is Armin Haryan from Torque.
newsdotcom Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. And let's move on to the next news. Last night, just several hours ago, Tesla CEO Elon Musk called Tesla Hertz's result on Tesla stock strange. Here's what he said. He said, strange dot moved valuation as Tesla is very much a production rump problem, not a demand problem. Well, he's surprised that it was after the Hertz's uh, announcement that Tesla stock started moving up because um, we had a lot of good news recently, right, about the third quarter. Well, the step change in valuation basis had nothing to do with potential additional revenue, but everything to do with the dawning realization by the market of the rate at which this transition is happening right now and the lead and the, uh, the lead Tesla holds in the transition. But Elon, Elon Musk shouldn't be surprised friends Hertz Tesla deal was the cherry on top of all the recent news and amazing quarter three results a sign that gas age has ended the world is waking up to Tesla uh, kind of future of electric vehicle future this is good news that we're not going to mine a lot of gas and uh, and oil in the future as much as we're doing today also 100,000 Hertz Tesla rentals will lead to 25 to 50 million people in Tesla seats over the next two years. Many new people will experience Tesla for themselves for the first time and the media's uh, strength, um, strength hold on the negative narrative will be irreparably broken. It's just Tesla now needs to be ready for more unbiased feedback and drastically improve its service. Demand is going through the roof right now and Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are going to meet the demand. It means several thousand Hertz customers per day will be driving a Tesla for the first time and deciding they want one for their next car or don't. Demand problem is about to get a whole lot worse, I guess, when those Hertz customers drive their first Tesla. Maybe you should have a, a button for them uh, to order their own in the settings, uh, says uh, Kim Paquet on Twitter. For rentals, it's seems like you should be able to enter your Tesla login, uh, login ID password into the rental car screen and have it retrieve your settings and use them. This deal, friends, with Hertz was months in making. Obviously, they don't come in just a day. They need chargers, but I think that was part of the discussion with Tesla. Chances are they have full self-driving, but the use would not be used till level 3 is in use and only temporarily as a rental future. Hertz made a great move here because they have a 500,000 vehicle fleet. The Model 3 come with LFP battery pack. Few repairs and cost of charging will be huge profit for Hertz and also for Tesla. Hertz wants all their cars by next year, not a decade from now. If they don't get them, are they going to wait or move on to the next manufacturer who helps them take the green box? Let me know, friends. What are your, what are your thoughts? And uh, what do you expect from this deal? Today, I'm planning to contact other car rental companies and ask about their electrification plans uh, to electrify their fleet. So once I get some feedback from them, I will let you know in my next report. So please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news, um, breaking news stories. And now let's go on to the next move. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. After announcing the news about purchasing Tesla vehicles, Hertz has released three ads this morning, friends. Earlier, we thought there was only one ad but looks like second ad and third ad also were released some people think it's very early because the orders will not be available until November of this year but they are online and you're about to see it it became known that Hertz Global Holdings placed an order for 100,000 Tesla Model 3s as a step towards its ambitious plan to electrify its renter car fleet it will be the largest electric vehicle purchase known to date and is a great example for other companies in the fight to reduce co2 emissions from combustion engines vehicles so now it looks like there are a bunch of ads right now and uh, released by Hertz uh, not only one there is a second Hertz Tesla ad which says let's go uh, one is 15 minute spot another one is also 15 minute spot and the third one is 30 minute uh, I'm sorry not minutes second spots and you're about to see it let's take a look at them together and talk about this so you want EVs, you have come to the right place. Is that Tom Brady? Yeah. Comes in to recharge, get software updates, you know. 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Toast. When life has you playing, hurry Let's up. Go. Let's go. Hertz keeps you ahead of the game. Let's go. Introducing our all new electric vehicles. Let's go. Let's go. Our new EV rental fleet is the absolute goat. Nice. Speaking of goats, is that Tom Brady? Yeah. He comes in to recharge, gets software updates, you know. Same time next week? You got it. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. I think they're very nicely made aid. What do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. So Hertz Global Holdings has placed an order for a whooping 100,000 Teslas in a huge first step toward electrifying its rental car fleet and in the process of mainstreaming electric vehicles. Bloomberg reported the news early this morning, a few minutes ahead of the press release, notes Electric, with sources who asked not to be identified and said that it represents around $4.2 billion dollars of revenue for tesla it will be the single largest purchase ever for electric vehicles the cars will be delivered over the next 14 months from an already tight supply of tesla vehicles tesla needs to come up with better plan or quicker plan or some other ways to quickly start the production of model 3 uh, i'm sure i'm sorry at gigafactory austin and also at giga berlin in because the schedule of deliveries are is already very tight Bloom points out that the cost of the order implies that Hertz is paying list prices for the Teslas and is thus not getting a discount for its large order which car rental companies usually get from car makers. Tesla Model 3s will be available to rent at Hertz locations in major U.S. markets and parts of Europe starting in early November, according to the source. Customers will, of course, have access to superchargers, and Hertz is also building its own charging infrastructure, as I said um, before. So here's what Bloomberg writes. Bloomberg says the electrification plan, which eventually will encompass almost all of Hertz's half million cars and trucks worldwide, is the company's first big initiative since emerging from bankruptcy in June. And it signals that Hertz's new owner, uh, Nighthead Capital Management and Sertares Management are intent on shaking up an industry dominated by a handful of large players who are typically show, um, slow to change. Now, what's interesting about this, friends, and I want to bring it to your attention. First of all, the ads look very good, in my opinion. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But this is going to further speed up the uh, electric vehicle adoption by the general public let's say uh, john john goes from new york to los angeles and for a business trip and john has never had electric vehicle in his life and has never tried electric vehicle never trusted he goes there and he sees tesla available at hertz um, car rental and you know whether willingly or reluctantly john decides to rent a tesla he likes the experience and all of a sudden tesla is in his his mind and this will speed up the transition of electric vehicle adoption in my uh, in my opinion so what do you think about that uh, uh, that, that ad in a quick turnaround due to the high demand for rental cars Hertz officially emerged from bankruptcy on June 30th which allowed it to shed more than 5 billion of debt the bankruptcy was because of the virus situation and uh, because you know people were not traveling for business not much and there was no rental very much now electric things this is a huge win for Tesla and electric vehicles because in general, I agree with this. Getting bottoms in seats will speed adoption. Electric says it's interesting to see Hertz interim CEO Mark Fields leading the charge here since Fields was out, uh, ousted from Ford a few years back, largely for not modernizing the company and preparing properly for the onslaught of electric vehicles. It's also a big win for Hertz since we, and I assume most Tesla owners, will look there first when renting cars i'm going to assume that they won't expect to return the cars charge and hope they don't charge some um 
uh, recharging fee akin to like nine dollars ninety nine cents they charge for gas if you don't return the car full so i don't know because then how are you let's say you are in a busy uh, trip you don't have time you can't charge it in five minutes you need more time but i think the situation may change once we have our cars charged at a faster um, speed so in one of the ads tom brady um, he is an electric vehicle guy and has been driving an electric vehicle for years. His celebrity will reach many of the middle American folks who have not caught the electric vehicle bug yet. This is a big mainstreaming moment. The other big thing to consider is how this is going to affect the supply of Model 3s. Tesla already can't make enough cars and is currently at a 1 million car per year run rate. However, assuming Austin and Berlin Gigafactories get online soon, the car maker should be able to cover this extra demand in stride over the next year and two months but that's really just the start we have to assume that other rental car agencies will have to buy in to keep it to keep it up nothing but upside here so now i think that we will i will not be surprised if we see other car companies uh buying teslas announcing their tesla vehicle fleet next year so can you imagine how many people will rent a tesla only to realize hey electric vehicles are awesome my next car will definitely be an electric vehicle what do you think how many we will have the number if we know how many people uh, or customers uh, hertz serves each year now i think it is a huge uh, that 20 percent of their fleet might be tesla because if we're talking about they have about hertz has about 500,000 cars and we're talking about 100,000 tesla model 3s now going to 20 percent teslas will definitely be a huge marketing boom for tesla and for hertz plus anyone renting from hertz will have a huge chance uh, of getting a tesla without even trying it now the only thing that is not good maybe here is the price keep going up and i still need to replace my ford escape says one person under electrix uh, story at least i have my model 3 though now and other people say i believe when the next factories are online that the timeline for delivery will shrink yes i think so because once Gigafactory Berlin and Gigafactory Texas in Austin come online, the time will shrink. I think this is really exciting time for Tesla. Well, let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Please give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it.